Hey everybody, Wanna Weasem here. We have had a great night. Just unboxed Fizzy Frenzy Pop Fizz followed by Full Blast Jet Vac. Uh, picked up those guys Sunday at launch. They were not supposed to be out. They're supposed to be out tomorrow, which is Tuesday, October 7th. Two days after launch, if you will. I know this for a fact because my Toys R Us told me and I got an email this afternoon. So uh, if you're interested in picking these guys up or maybe your Toys R Us actually did it completely right and you couldn't have access to a uh, tread head fist bump Full Blast Jet Vac, Fizzy Frenzy Pop Fizz, or Hog Wild Frino. Uh, in addition to not having access to Lobstar, Bushwhack, Head Rush, the Wave 2 Trappers, uh, and a couple of more sculpts on the traps, go into Toys R Us tomorrow. They should have them out. If they don't, mention the ad to them and see if you can't maybe get them to crack open a few more boxes. The stuff is there. It's just a matter of how well aware they are of it. If they've already put it out and sold it all, or if they've done things right, or if they're just kind of clueless and need your help slash persuasion slash somewhat mildly annoyance persistence until they actually do what they should have done. Uh, that said, it should be fun. I plan to run up there tomorrow. Additionally, I believe Deja Vu with the Mirror of Mystery will be out, so we'll have our second adventure pack. That's awesome. Deja Vu. Uh, they teased us with her at E3. There was this giant banner with that chick. And uh, people were like, what is she? You know, and uh, I honestly thought she might have been a trap master. You know, she was kind of holding the uh, little forks in her hand. And uh, I envisioned it as a trap tanium weapon. Apparently that was the wrong vision. But the banner was so freaking, I mean, it was, there were like the game banners, you know, that would be like, you know, long and thin and wide. And then there was a couple of dedicated character posters. And then there was like this deja vu one, which was just ginormous. And uh, that's kind of, I guess, what led me to believe she'd be a trap master. That said, cool stuff tomorrow, including this guy right here, Frino Fans Rejoice. He is back, and he is furiously ferocious. This is his Series 2 form. Uh, as you can see there, our Series 2 character looks to be Triggs, uh, which is interesting. But uh, Skyliner's Trap Team logo coming in. There he is. As you can see this time around, they're kind of showcasing him in a different uh, perspective. There's his Series 1. He's kind of just looking like he's going to stampede or brawl in that picture. Uh, this one, I guess, would be... Um, what would it be based off of? I guess... Uh, obviously the hot shot path, it looks like he's doing the wheelie, uh, maybe he's getting ready, maybe I guess the best way for this to be viewed would be like here he is on the bike riding normally and then he pops the wheelie, uh, I assume for crash and burn we'll say, so picture him heading, running head first into some giant enemies or most wanted villains slash doom raiders, he's about to bail the bike forward, uh, deal some major damage, hop off and then uh, brawl with them so that's kind of what i think it should be cool once we get it out of the packaging that said i got it at toys r us on launch day 10.99 that was a retail price they've currently got the buy one get one 40 percent even though it is just brand new and launched uh so pretty cool sale take advantage of that uh hog wild frino fire element as you can see there his slogan of course crash and burn now uh it's kind of interesting uh, it's curious how they brought back uh, some of the characters and not some of the others. Um, I don't know. I, I guess Frino, I mean, obviously they had like the Skylander shorts with him. Uh, that was like a little skit they did where he was like seeing a shrink or something. Um, I don't know if he like sold really well. I've known of a few people, uh, and mainly in video comments. I think I've had one or two emails on him, but uh, he's not like an overwhelming favorite, uh, at least not of a vocal group. You know, like Pop Fizz has a huge following, Hot Dog has a huge following. In fact, there's probably a lot of Hot Dog people that are mad it's Fry and not like a Series 3 Hot Dog. Personally, I kind of like diversity. I wish that all the Skylanders in whatever way, shape, or form they took to get them there would kind of like start to even out. Now, uh, for example, our castaways, some of my favorite characters, Voodoo, Dino Ring, Ghost Roaster, those guys, Warnado. I wish they would kind of catch up and get on up into, like, Series 2s and 3s. And, you know, that way, instead of having, like, somebody that's just never been reposed, uh, we would actually then have, you know, kind of like a little greater balance, if you will. That's it. Frino fans, no doubt, are happy. I think it's a pretty awesome pose. I think it's going to look way better out of the packaging. Um... Speaking of which, if you keep that to cut it up and use on storage, just cut the tape first. Love the single packs. They don't fight me. The Trap Masters, while the packaging looks really cool, they are a total pain to actually open up, at least on camera. You know, if you're not, like, filming yourself, it's not that awkward. But uh, generally, when you do something on camera, you don't want to make yourself look stupid. 
or any more incompetent than you may be. And the Trap Masters really push that because they're quite difficult to open up and get inside. So, uh, in addition to the figure, which we're going to check out, you get the stat card. Behind that, we have the sticker sheet. These are intended to be placed on your uh, poster that comes with your starter pack. You can see the artwork there. It's actually pretty cool. Uh, it's one of those cases where it looks better than the front of the package. The name tag, again, intended for the poster. Some of you use them on your Power A stackable tackle boxes, shoe boxes, storage, lockers, notebooks, folders spirals all kinds of crazy stuff uh, what I like to document the best from this is the stat card granted this doesn't correlate to the game but Hogwild Frino very cool the artwork there as well power 130 of 250 armor 150 of 250 you kind of expect expect that from a rhinoceros uh, speed 50 of 250 luck 50 of 250 grand total we've got 380 well, that I believe is the highest for a core character thus far uh, yeah 380 so that's interesting that said we will set that stuff down uh we'll go ahead and take a look at him here all right so the first thing you know you've got that familiar face you've got the horn which almost looks longer i don't think it is i think it's just since it's a solid color this year it maybe gives it that uh illusion he's on the bike it, i guess the trike actually um pretty sure in the game it looked like a trike it's been a while but i don't think that's one giant fat wheel i think it's two uh anyway regardless whatever it may be really nicely done the way they swirled that orange on the center of the wheel it almost gives the illusion of motion which obviously would explain the wheelie if you pull a wheelie that means the back when wheels are moving they're where the gear drive is and you pop up from the lack of weight it's easier to do a wheelie when you got the giant v-twin on the back side here so uh looks like he's running a little v-tin you v twin not v10 this isn't a viper we're talking about uh he's got the exhaust right there uh fairly nicely done i mean that's pretty accurate i mean you don't expect intricate detail on a motor but uh shows up he's got the tread on the tires uh if this was a light core the headlight and the horn would have been kind of like a cool combination or something at night uh the fire element base this is one of the things this time around uh this looks so much better uh, than the previous fire element bases. Now, what's interesting, um, Wildfire here, the Trap Master, he's actually kind of got the orange and the yellow in there, uh, which is typical. Uh, but what I'm getting at is this version of Hogwild Frino has like more of the just red translucent flames, which look awesome. They're almost encompassing the uh, rear wheel or wheels. And like on this Frino, you kind of have that more like play-doh colored fire which you know it's not bad but it doesn't look near as cool as this the biggest incentive for this if you're a fire element fan or collector is the fact that the base is finally red and that means it's going to tie in great with the fire particularly like this this is almost a seamless transition which is really cool uh, but that said it's basically the same pose does he have the goggles He's got the goggles, they're just not detailed out in the same color scheme as last time. They're kind of like a bronze or brass color, uh, more matched his gloves. Last time his hands were actually on fire, I guess like he kind of heated himself up. You know, this year I guess they're kind of like natural, uh, which makes sense since he's, you know, doing the hot shot path here. But uh, again, you can envision him doing the wheelie here, that's what that pose does. What I like is that they're willing to take chances instead of just giving him a pose where he's pounding the ground or something mundane and easy. They took it up enough. They put him on a bike. They tied it in with a path. Ties in with an upgrade. Matches what he actually does. Uh, so props to whoever designed him. Before we do our comparison with the previous figure, let's go ahead and cover his background story. Uh, it's a rather lengthy one, so bear with me here. I'll try not to lose my voice. Frino was once a member of the notorious Blazing Biker Brigade and spent most of his youth riding around Skylands with the rest of his crew. But what Frino did not realize was that while he enjoyed a life of freedom and adventure, uh, his crew was responsible for acts of burglary throughout Skylands. When Frino discovered that he had been riding around with a bunch of villains, he burned with rage and demanded that they make amends for the wrong they had done. This resulted in an epic fight which Frino won and then the disbanding of the Blazing Biker Brigade. Frino was in the midst of returning the valuables his crew had stolen when he met Master Eon, who was impressed with his good character and fighting abilities, and of course offered him membership with the Skylanders, which is obviously a position he accepted. And it's a good thing he did because he was so popular and so well liked, he's apparently back in Series 2 form, so very cool stuff. The original Frino pose. Obviously, the similarities here is in 
is in the face and this one he was like looking up towards the horn it's got a tricolor if you will uh, the black like heat burn effect uh, red fading into the yellowy orange note that his hands look like he had just charged them for a brawl uh, the only detail that's kind of disappointing that isn't here is actually the goggles uh, the goggles here are kind of specked out in that same brass color that trims the horn this year uh, the trim color actually does look the same but the goggles themselves are not trimmed out but that said I mean the black either one is actually feasible I know a lot of bikers that have black goggles so um, up front you can't really see if he's got the belt or not uh, the hooves have kind of been taken care of he's got boots on this time when he's riding the bike so safety first uh, that's the lesson we can take from that one um, the other detail that is really cool, and this may be part of his Wow Pal, uh, which usually, you know, based on what we saw last time, is like a uniform or a suit for most of the characters in Swap Force. The returning ones, mind you. Note that there's like no spikes here, it's just like a straight leather jacket setting him down now. Uh, on this one, he's got the same ears there that look fiery, but you note those spikes, almost like he's an Oakland Raider fan geared up for game day. Uh, or whatever they have go on. Uh, hopefully they turn it around. But anyway, uh, back away from football. He's got the spikes, which is something cool. That's something that I think we may see when he gets his wow pal. So uh, that is that. That is Hogwild Frino. He is a Series 2 uh, Skylander. He's returning from Swap Force, where he was a Fire Element Newlander. He is a Wave 2 single pack character. Uh, Toys R Us will have them a few days ahead of everyone beginning tomorrow, Tuesday, October 7th. 1099's retail. They've got the BOGO 40%, which is buy one, get one. My advice, if you find him and you want him, look for another character in the single you want and go ahead and save that money uh, while you're in there. Uh, pick up some traps. They'll have some new traps out as well. And uh, if you need trap storage case, check out my legendary trap storage case uh, from Power A. I'm going to get that video live soon. Recorded it last night when I was struggling going to talk so nonetheless looks pretty cool again i have to give them the props for doing the different pose tying it in with what you have in the game i think it'll be pretty cool obviously Frino fans are excited about this one uh, i'm actually excited primarily because of the wow pal i don't think i highlighted it on the packaging uh, but right there on the side that is included actually we didn't cover the back did we I don't know what I got off on. There's the inset box art. Back and better than ever. New Wild Pal. That's the main thing you need to know. Wildfire Torch. Shameless Self Promotion. And Wee Rupter. And again, since he is a Swap Force Newlander, he is backwards compatible. That said, thanks so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, make sure you do that. I've got more unboxings, more character introductions, and more gameplay headed your way. If you're not following me on Twitch, do that. I'm going to live stream the entire game on uh, from the Xbox One. Uh, Wii U Dark Edition when it shows up my nephew and I are going to do a co-op playthrough so be on the lookout for that one uh, that one will be a little slower obviously because he's not here with me at 3 in the morning to play the games when I do but uh, we'll work on it it's kind of like a weekend type thing uh, you can follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, circle me on Google+, whichever you prefer. Personal site, oneaweezum.com. Take that link in the video description box. It'll have tons of information on Frino for you. Similarly, Skylander Club slash forum. It's a new project I've got going on. Lots of great people on board. If you are a serious Skylander person, one of the dedicated portal masters, a little bit more uh, stringent, uh, with your collecting and gameplay, I invite you to check it out. Uh, if you like what you see, sign up. We would absolutely love to have you. But for myself and Hogwild Frino, we're going to go get these new characters introduced in the game. Have a good time doing that. Again, Toys R Us tomorrow. You have a chance to pick this guy and the rest of Wave 2 up. So be on the lookout for that if you don't already have them or some of them. Uh, return in, see if you can't land the rest of them. But uh, I'll quit rambling. Thanks again for watching, and I will catch you back here next time.